dear viewers today i'll show you how to import and export large mysql databases via command line in oamp uh, so first uh, enter uh, mysql bin folder so for this uh, you have to know where is your oamp installed for me it is installed on c drive so first i will log it in in c drive so let's uh, start with common prompt so i'll write it as cmd and it will open up my common prompt and uh, then i will go for uh, some comments here first i will go to c drive so uh, cd cd now it is inside c drive you see that then i will write cd wamp here cd means change directory and uh, i will entering in wamp and then i will entering bin directory then i will entering mysql directory you can easily uh, put this name like uh, write three words here i mean m o i s then just click tab key on your keyboard and it will give you full name and then you will write uh, cd m y s and then full click tab key and it will give your mysql full version here so click on it then you will enter cd bin so now you are ready uh, you are inside uh, your mysql directory and uh, now place that big file uh, inside one folder and get address from url so let's uh, put our big file in one folder and uh, if we check it i already uh, put it here i mean in, in ww uh, directory i've already put it here uh, called dump you see that and its size if you check its size is uh, over 1 gb and uh, it's a big database very big database 1.13 gb uh, so this is called dump i keep it here so how can get i get the url if to get url i will click right button uh, i mean of my mouse on this url and uh, this is uh, how i do it so then i click edit address uh, with my left mouse button and, uh, and uh, if you click on it and it will show me a url like this i will just copy it then i will uh, use the when i uh, i mean i w if i wish to import it then i will use the next uh, code and if you check this here and uh, here is the um, uh, import code so first it will be mysql and uh, as i am in inserting on mysql then it will be user will be root because localhost user always be root and uh, as there is no password so p password will be field will be empty and uh, this is the database name actually uh, you can put your put your database name here then i will use the path here uh, get uh, right i mean get here and uh, if you check one thing if you check one thing uh, you will see it is given it like a slash is uh, something like this uh, but if you check it here slash is something like this i mean slash is a totally this type of slash so you will put your slash and put your database name here at the end of uh, the url i already show it that this is the path and then this is the dump sql uh, i already put it here so uh, so now run this command and wait for few seconds and uh, it is tags done and uh, if if you if you wish to export your uh, database uh, i mean via this code i mean below then you will use if you check two course difference you will see this is start with mysql and this is start with mysql dump and then some uh, all are same you uh, user will be root password will be uh, empty and uh, if this is the database name uh, you wish to export and um, uh, this is the uh, path you wish to export your database here let's see uh, e let's see test uh, one uh, this two one minute so uh, we are on uh, localhost and uh, in wamp and uh, we will uh, create a database in php my admin so click on it and as i said before uh, username will be root and password will be empty and then go then i will click on databases and uh, i will uh, create click on uh, test m m i will copy it click, click on it so here i create a database so uh, according to our code i will put the database name here yes test 
test time this is the our database name so i will just copy it and i will uh, change the database name here uh, sorry database name uh, kept inside uh, uh, www folder is dump so i will keep the name same just copy it then i will try to insert it i mean uh, sorry i will try to uh, import it so go to my uh, command prompt and i will put my code here and it shows that a um, enter password uh, field but you don't have to enter any password just click enter on your keyboard and wait for a few seconds yes it's working So if I check after um, no, wait for a few seconds and uh, actually it depends on your uh, database size and your computer performance it shows that yes it's, it's done and um, uh, my task is completed. So if we go test uh, M, uh, our database you will see all database is uh, imported here and it's very big and uh, everything is there. So uh, I think uh, it works for you uh, for uh, and we can say that yes our MySQL command is running. Now we wish to uh, export it from this database so we will do the same thing I mean copy it copy the database name and how to export our database so here MySQL dump uh, minus u root p and this is the database name and I will put is here our database name test name and here is the path and where we wish to we wish to get it in uh, cwamp and uh, www and our database name will be testm sql so testm sql so just copy it and just run it on our um, i mean command prompt here you see that this is and then it shows a enter password uh, option you just click uh, or it's just uh, press enter on your keyboard and again wait for a few seconds until it is done and um, it will work uh, according to your database size and uh, performance it takes few seconds let's do it seems uh, it's done and uh, our uh, code running is done so let's uh, see it's actually uh, uh, exported or not so I am on my WAMP and then www directory and uh, if you see this and uh, you will see uh, this is the database we already exported and uh, if we check this we have uh, our database size is 1.13 GB we imported and if we check the exported size and you will see the same size has been exported. So we can say our uh, code is working fine and uh, beside any problem. Uh, actually uh, that's all and it is done and uh, this is the end of this tutorial. Thank you for watching. Take care. Bye bye.